So one of the main things that attracts people into Dubai from far and wide are its amazing malls, namely the Dubai Mall, which is actually the largest in the world. I thought it would be nice to bring you along and show you around. Um, I actually live right near it, so I'm pretty familiar with it and know all of the best places to go. So come along and let's take a look. So we're going to start off with Hermes, a store that I think a lot of you would be very curious to have a look inside. The store in the Dubai Mall is incredibly impressive to look around. I particularly love some of this stunning crockery and this super cute heart-shaped twilly. What do we think of these shoes? I'm not convinced. And then you've got some stunning pieces of clothing with the iconic Hermes print. Of course, no visit would be complete without having a look at the handbags. A girl can dream, right? Next, we're gonna head over to Dior and they have a very extensive selection of the gorgeous, iconic Lady Dior bags. I'm not sure whether these are one-off pieces, but they are very unique and like nothing I've ever seen before. I mean, just look at this selection. They also have these super cute mini ones, probably not the most practical bag in the world, but looks cute. And they also had these mini saddlebags as well. And how perfect would this raffia cosmetics case be for the summer? I can just imagine this with a white linen dress. Then there's also this beautiful embroidered white bucket bag. I personally love this absolutely stunning white embossed fabric. And the store also has a pretty extensive array of homeware as well. Now we're going to nip into Cartier to have a look at what they've got. I was particularly interested to have a look at their leather goods. Now this is a handbag that I could definitely envisage in my collection. It's really beautifully made. I probably want it in a neutral colour, but yeah, really lovely. They also have an extensive array of beautiful small leather goods as well, and they're pretty reasonably priced for Cartier. Thank you. 
En route over to Fashion Avenue, where most of the designer fashion shops are, there's quite a cool Prada pop-up currently in place. They have these pretty jazzy diamante pieces. Not necessarily something that I'd reach for, but yeah, they look pretty cool. There's also some very summer appropriate raffia pieces as well. I'd love to know what you think. I also couldn't resist popping into Angelina Patisserie. They have the most beautiful array of cakes and pastries. I particularly recommend the pistachio croissants. They're very, very good. Next up, just a quickie in Chanel, just to see what there is. They have this cute little cosmetics case, which I actually own in the caviar leather and highly recommend. I'll leave my video about it in the description. Had the iconic tweed pieces and some small leather goods as well. Not too far away is Louis Vuitton. I particularly love these cute little candles. I had no idea that Louis Vuitton do candles. I always like popping into Louis Vuitton, but quite a lot of it's not really my style. That said, I do really like these trunks. Now we're headed over to YSL, which has the most stunning shop space. It's like an art gallery. I mean, just look at all the marble. Now this is something I could see in my collection. Not only do I love the colour, but I also like the fact that it's a bit of a different design. I really love how bold and bright the Prada store is. And they have all of the iconic pieces. There's also some private fitting rooms upstairs as well. Nothing really jumped out at me at Tom Ford, but I do love the retail space. It's absolutely stunning. And they also have a very extensive beauty section. I also popped into Mulberry and Alaya just to see what there is. 
I have to say that I do really love pieces by Alaya, especially these laser cut totes. Very summer appropriate. This little heart shaped handbag is also very cute. Not what you'd typically expect to find at Alaya. By this time I'd worked up quite an appetite, so I popped into TWG to grab something to eat and drink. I'd definitely recommend this place, especially because of the beautiful fountain views. Brits will be pleased to know that the Dubai Mall is equipped with Waitrose and Marks and Spencers so you can get all of your home comforts. Cafe Batil is one of my favourite places to go. I pretty much love everything on their menu and they also do a really beautiful selection of artisan dates and chocolates as well. If you're looking to get some gifts for your loved ones, this is definitely a great place to come. And while you're walking around, you definitely don't want to miss out on the Dubai Aquarium. You don't actually need to go in to see this beautiful floor to ceiling aquarium wall. It's really quite impressive. And if you're an archeology span lover, you won't want to miss out on the real dinosaur skeleton that we have. If you're in search for some pieces for your home, then Bloomingdale's home is definitely somewhere that you won't want to miss. They have a pretty extensive array of diptyque candles. I particularly like these big ones. I wouldn't mind the one in white, if I'm honest. And there's also a beautiful array of crockery for your home. These pieces are by Wedgwood. And if all the shopping leaves you in need of a caffeine fix, then Arabica Coffee is definitely somewhere that I'd recommend. The coffee's great and it's a pretty cool little space. And finally, to round things up, definitely don't miss out on the incredible fountain show. So I hope that's been of interest. Thank you so much for watching and do consider subscribing if you enjoyed this content.